Okay, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to add a different type of question to your Google form, which I find to be a very, very useful type. Um, it is called the multiple choice grid. Okay, so here we have our sample worksheet that we've been working on. Um, and we're going to scroll to the end so that I can add a question, an additional question. And to add a question, we're just going to click on the plus sign there and up pops our question. So this time we're not going to choose multiple choice, which tends to be the default. We're going to choose multiple choice grid. So click on multiple choice grid and you will notice that it comes up with rows and columns. It may look, look a little bit confusing at first, but, but I'm going to show you how it works. All right, so we're going to type a question. And the question I'm taking, I'm using, is a question that comes from the test preparation booklet from the ministry. So many of you may know this question. If N is an odd number, which of the following, sorry, expression will always be odd, sometimes be odd, or never be odd. Select the answer that matches. Oh. So that's the question. If n is an odd number, an odd whole number, let me put that in there, sorry, my mistake, is an odd whole number, which of the following expressions will always be odd, sometimes be odd, or never be odd? Select the answer that matches. So as you notice, we have rows and columns. And in the rows, we're going to put the question, the stem of the question, so it's going to be n plus 5, and then we're going to put n times, let's, let's make that a small one, times 5, next option, n plus 2, the final option is n times 2. So now we have the questions. These are what we are asking. And here we're going to put the answers over here. So we have always odd. Next one will be sometimes odd. And here is going to be never odd. Okay. So we're also going to put here that require a response in EPRO that they have to put a, an answer in each row. And since I'm in essence right asking one, two, three, four questions, I am going to click on the answer key and I'm going to make this one be worth one point, the answer to that be worth one point, the answer to that be worth one point, and the answer to that be worth one point. But I'm not going to put answers in yet. I want to show you what it looks like first. So what it looks like, let's go up and look at this little eye here, the preview. And I'll scroll down and show you what the question now looks like. So the question now looks like this. All right. So is the student now has this like, is n plus 5, if it's an odd whole number, is it always odd? Is it sometimes odd? Is it never odd? So they have options. So this is how the question is going to look. All right. Let me go back to our working sheet. So once we've done that, I just want you to see what it looks like. We're going to put in the answer key. So the answer key here is never odd, uh, sometimes odd, always odd, never odd. Right? So we put the answers in so that the form can be marked for us. And we click done, and then the student is able to see that. All right, so this is really a neat way uh, for multiple choice grid. Um, to use multiple choice grid in our worksheets and quizzes. But I'm going to show you that it could also be used with an image. Okay. So let us add let us add a new question. 
gonna add a new question here. Okay, let me get rid of this. So I'm gonna show you how to add a new question um, and that we're going to also add a diagram. So let us first select multiple choice grid because that's what we're doing. And again, you see the rows and columns come up. Um, let us write the question, type the question in. Okay, so I've written out the question and the question says, examine the diagram below showing the human digestive system. Select the number that identifies the organ in the diagram. Clearly we need to add a diagram for students to take a look at. All right, so what we're going to do is click on this icon here, which is image. And we're going to select our image. Now, for a question like that, you'd have already created the image and prepared it um, to add. So mine is actually in my Google Drive. So I'm going to look for it there. And here it is, it comes up, I just select it and insert. So the diagram is now inserted. Now I think this is a little bit big, so I'm just going to click on it and reduce the size. Remember, we spoke about reducing the size of the diagram, so it's um, more manageable. Okay, so there we have the diagram. Now we're going to put the rows, and the rows are our questions. So let's put that in. Enos and large intestine. So those are the options that they have, and the columns and all would be the answers that they're selecting. We're going to have one, two, three, sorry, three, four, fix that one, three, four, five, five, six. Now you notice you don't have to have the same amount of rows as columns. It doesn't really matter. All right, and then we're going to click that it requires a response in each row. There we go. So let's go up now. This is what it looks like, and, and it looks a little bit confusing still. So let's go and look what it's going to look like to the students. There we go, and that's loading. Let's go down and look at it. There it is. So now the students will look um, and select based on the diagram there, which one they think is correct. All right, so that, that's the way we're going to use it. It is a really handy way, as I said, to, to change up the format of your questions. So practice using your multiple choice grids. Okay, everybody, each one, each one.